Happy Veterans Day. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, we get to come together as a society and support our veterans. Having come from a military family, this is something I'm exceptionally passionate about, and I am happy to be able to be here today to talk about veterans issues. My name is Carrie Fear, and I work at Viridian Behavioral Health. Well, Carrie, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about a very important topic, mental health, in particular, how it affects the military um, and both veterans and active duty military. So let's talk about some of the challenges faced by the, the military. The broad answer to that question, regardless of what branch they're in or if they enter as enlisted or officer candidacy school, is they are trained exceptionally well to enter a very rigid environment. So they're given a very specific set of tools to be successful. And when they are ready to discharge out of the military, they're then tasked to come into a more gray environment, um, an environment that requires a different set of tools, but oftentimes we aren't providing those for them. Could you share some common situations that maybe veterans or active duty military personnel have that maybe the general public do not have? The best way I can describe it is if you or I are driving down the interstate and we have a near miss with a semi, we are gonna react very differently for the next several miles as we're driving. We're gonna be more alert, we're gonna be paying more attention, and it's a really neurological response that we have, and we all understand and can relate to that. I think the difficulty for us to understand on how they experience it is they stay there. So when they went there, they didn't have the option of coming back out like a lot of times we do. Now comes the most important part, and that's getting help. Uh, that's for anybody, whether they're military or not. When you are having mental health issue, there are barriers. Mm -hmm. And why don't you talk about some of that? Mm -hmm. I think it's really important that we understand as a society that we get the word out, that there is help that's effective. A lot of times, the military believe that when they PCS out of the military, the people that they're gonna ask for help are not gonna understand. They're not gonna be structured, they're not gonna be goal-oriented. It means that it's our responsibility to get the word out, that there's help out there that's effective. There are providers out there that not, are not going to simply ask them to retell their story, but rather have interventions that really address the neurological issues that they deal with every day. Well, thank you so much for some great information and for the work you do. And thank you for watching. For more information, visit viridianbh.com and like Salina Regional Health Center on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram.